We get a lot of questions about control arms, and we're working on some today, so I thought I'd address that. Welcome to Mercy J Auto Care, where compassion and craftsmanship come together. I'm Rick Smith, Master Certified Technician. Now, this is a control arm, and most of control arm failures are in the bushings. So you have rubber bushings here and here. On this particular car, this is the most common bushing that fails. First of all, be careful about condemning these too soon. You can have cracks in the bushings just from weather, but if they're not moving around too much, then they don't need to be replaced. If you do have a failure, like in this case, where the bushing, I pulled this out of the other control arm, it's completely torn. This should be one piece, but this is the inner part of the bushing, the outer part of the bushing. At that point, you have choices. You can either replace the control arm, which will come with new bushings, or in this case, on Toyotas and Lexuses, I recommend that you get an updated bushing that doesn't have rubber all around it. It's more like a joint. And by replacing that, we press this bushing out of the control arm. By putting a, a joint in here rather than a bushing, it lasts a lot longer and in the long run costs the client a lot less money. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit more about what fails on control arms and what you can do to resolve them. Till next time, safe travels and blessings to you.